We are here with the vintage caravan who just finished their last set in Iceland before moving to Denmark. So the question on everyone's mind is, why are you going to Denmark? Uh, who is asking that question? Well, <laughs> I am. <laughs> who does this? <laughs> Basically, just so uh, we can do this longer because uh, it makes no sense to live in Iceland and then just fly out to a gig and fly back and fly out again and fly back and you know, so forth. We, we had this idea on a Wednesday mm -hmm. and it was decided on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But not this Wednesday and Friday. No, 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 no. it was in January. Like a month ago. January. And, oh, uh, a whole month ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, that changes yeah. everything. Yeah. Lexi, Lexi, our uh, sound producer, mm -hmm. he, uh, he came up with this idea. It was like, I, I think you guys should, should move out. Yeah. Like yeah, move, move to a foreign country. We were like, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why haven't we thought of that before? I, I went home and like uh, started looking up apartments in Berlin, mm -hmm. and I was like, fuck this. My German is not too good. <laughs> like, yeah. So, uh, so and then Oscar just like, hey, I, I have this sister who lives yeah. in Denmark, and we were just like, why the fuck didn't you say that before? <laughs> <laughs> And 2013 has been a really productive year for the Vintage Caravan. Can you, can you talk me through it? Uh, I would say that after Istanbul in July. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. After that, everything moved very quickly. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just like, hey, these guys want to sign us to this uh, publishing deal. And we were yeah. just like, yeah, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and then they, those guys talked to some other guys. And so we got on Roadburn Festival. And Wachken. Yeah, Wachen yeah. There. And, uh, okay. and then we got and we got a couple of booking deals mm -hmm. that we had to go through and decide which one we wanted to take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, then Nuclear Blast, you know, which is like the biggest metal label in the world, they just you know <laughs> sent us an email like, hey, we're very interested, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, well, wow, seriously, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you do know you do know who we are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, spend their whole days on their phone, like checking emails and like writing. You know, interviews and stuff like that. Mm. It's been really crazy. And uh, and uh, uh... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. Um... You guys just released a new music video for Expand Your Mind. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the process behind that is like, and what the th what the idea behind it is. We really wanted to do a psychedelic video. Basically, we sat down with uh, director Bone Staines. Or we came up with this idea together that uh, everybody would have their own trip sequences, and that just got way out of hand. Like he yeah. sat down and wrote a script, and and then he sent it to us, and we were like, "This is fucking <laughs> twenty pages, yeah, man! Yeah. How, how are you like, going to shoot this?" So, yeah, okay, so there's a so there's a frog in a hot dog spaceship telling me to stop thinking about food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How yeah. are we gonna make that work? And I yeah. mean, like Bowen Stains spent hours. Because hours he spent months. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That's what I meant. Like I was talking about, he spent like many, many, uh, and probably days building this spaceship hot dog. And he he did all you know he did all the uh, visual effects work himself and directed of course and edited and uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's Great a, kind of a poke fun at the at this kind of culture, but at the same time, there's a lot of like Easter eggs in the video. There's a lot of hidden stuff. You know, like if you can find the picture of Tom Selleck. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and we will buy you a beer. You guys just played a few new songs tonight. Mm -hmm. How many songs have you got ready for your next album? Well, Way too uh, many, basically. Yeah, we have enough songs for a new record. Next album is going to be pretty different. Pretty different. Yeah. Yeah. How so? Uh, well, I mean, after, after Alex joined the band, because mm -hmm. uh, you know, all this, all this stuff was written uh, for Voyage. We brought Alex a lot of like the Antwoord yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the band. <laughs> yeah, we played. I okay. think you're funny. <laughs> Seriously, like, yeah, it's uh, it's heavier and it's kind of like a. I remember you said like after you after we were uh, like we have done a few songs with you on the first practice or something. Mm -hmm. and you were like, this needs a little bit more mastodon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that, pretty much what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's, it's all really. Uh, like a bit darker, mm -hmm. heavier. It's a, uh, I guess, but more dynamic, you know. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it still sounds more. Uh, it still, still sounds like Winscarum. Yeah. yeah, it like Rush injected a lot of uh, uh, mastodon and uh, 
and <laughs> injected <laughs> mustard on her. Yeah. Right, yeah. come on. And horse steroids. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And it kind yeah. of sounds like the next track is going to sound like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much and best of luck overseas. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.